Our Gal Toolkit extension comes with several customizable infographic templates that can help you display info to your viewers. Let's customize a pie chart. Let's double click on this one to apply it to our sequence. Now that it's in the timeline, let's go to the Essential Graphics panel to customize. First, let's open up the Change Text section. Then from Title Text, let's update the main text to Gal Toolkit YouTube channel, for example. And then in the subtext here, you can type in any description that you need. In the values section, you can use the dropdown to select a new font for the values, but the actual values cannot be edited here. They must be changed in the settings section as you'll see in a moment. So in this case, I'm going to keep my font Montserrat bold. So next we can go to suffix. And if you wanna change the percentage symbol to a different symbol, you can do that here. In this case, I'm going to keep it to percentage. Or if you wanna add a dollar sign in front, you can go to prefix and add it and then delete the suffix. So that's how you can change these data symbols. But once again, I'll undo this because the data we are using is in percentages. Next, we can go to the description text and let's update these to subscribe and not subscribed. And now we can go to the settings to update the values. Let's update value one and two using these slider controls. And if you need decimals, you can also add it using this slider or enter in a value. You can also adjust the main circle width and the background circle width. You may also wanna turn off the roundness so that way it looks more flat or you can even turn off the background here if you wanna place a video or photo behind your graph. In this case, I'll turn back on the background. Finally, let's change the colors for clarity. I'll change the color of the first chart to green and the second to red. If you have the glow on, go to the pie chart glow and use the dropper tools to select the colors you changed so the glow matches. And our infographic is done. The chart is based on our real analytics on the channel. So it shows how many of you are actually subscribed to the Gal Toolkit channel. As you can see, only 25% of the views are from those of you that are subscribed. So if you haven't yet, be sure to click that subscribe button. We much appreciate it. And be sure to check out other tutorials on the YouTube channel on how to use the Gal Toolkit extension in both After Effects and Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.